Fox Television. Hi, I'm Colleen Jones from Team Canada. Watch us next on TSN. And on this Tuesday night at the Ford Worlds in Bismarck, North Dakota, it is must win for Canada. What has happened to the Canadians? That's the big question here in Bismarck. The smiles and chuckles have now turned to disappointment and frowns. They won their first two, have lost four straight. In contention for a world championship, Russia? Well, on ice we know, in hockey they're great. But could it be that that young lady, Olga Yarkova, could win a world championship in curling. I know what you're saying, Vic, you should never wear a hat, but this is just the beginning. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to TSN's continuing coverage of the Ford World Curling Championships. We are across the Missouri River from Bismarck in Mandan, North Dakota, and we are at this old hat. This gentleman, Shannon Reichenberg, and his wife, Tina, are the only custom hat makers in the entire state of North Dakota. In fact, they are two of only some 50 hat makers in the entire United States. It takes 40 hours of hand labor to make a hat. And this is the result. And they ship their hats worldwide. Some have just gone off to China. He's just gotten an order from Norway. I wonder if Paul Trulson is taking some hats back to Norway with him. Coming up, it is draw seven for the ladies and Colleen Jones and the Canadian champions. Well, they're going against the real surprise of this year's championships, the Russians. As we go to the Civic Center now, join Linda and Ray and do I have a face for a hat now? And I might say, Victor, the perfect face for radio as well. <laughs> well, Linda, there's trouble in River City. And it's not old hat for Colleen Jones and this team because last year they did so well, had a slow start, but then really poured it on exactly the opposite this year. Got off to a better start, but have struggled of late. So what do they have to do to win? Well, they need to try and win and hope for some help. And to win, you need to be a little more aggressive, both with and without hammer. This morning, they tried to run up and down with Scotland, and it didn't work. And Nancy Delahunt may be a key because she's playing great at lead. She has a huge edge over the Russian lead. Set it up early, put on the pressure with Nancy. And when do you really need to go for it? Kim Kelly can make some big shots. She's at 80%, the top third. And because Colleen Jones is struggling a bit, Kim needs to take the pressure off Colleen. You can't look at the other sheets, right? You just have to go play and try and win if you're Canada. Yeah, you have to win all the rest of your games. There's no question about that. And, and you, to do that, you really have to, you know, be a little bit more aggressive. This morning, for example, in the eighth inch, she had a chance to maybe try and get three, and she played that hit again instead of maybe freezing or going around a corner guard. And as a result, she just couldn't generate the points that she needed to win that game. Now her back is against the wall, so she has to win the rest of them. Now, Russia is no walk in the park, I can tell you. I mean, here come the Russians. <laughs> and they they have played very, very well. It's a good young team. They're athletic looking and they make a lot of shots. Yes, they make mistakes, so you have to pounce on them when they make those mistakes. Colleen, win or go home. So it is must win. Canada, Russia on the ice. Not hockey, but women's curling. the center it runs straight down the ice surface and we saw that again this afternoon and you'll see it tonight sheet B the inside sheets do work a little more it flattens out a bit in the center area in here so you have to watch the brushing and be alert but it's the kind of ice that you can generate offense and I think that's what Colleen has to do tonight let's meet the two teams the Russian champions all of them in just their second world appearance their lead is Anastasia Skultan. Second is Yana Nekrasova. The third is Kira Ezek. And the skip, just 22 years old, first time skipping Olga Yarkova. They're from the Moskovich Curling Club in Moscow. And the Canadian champions, the lead, Nancy Delahunt, Marianne Wake, Kim Kelly, and Colleen Jones. 
the defending world champions out of the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax. Now it is the Russians who will have the hammer playing the Redstones. And to get us going here in this first end, must win for Canada. Canadian lead is Nancy Delahunt. Olga Yarkova. Is that right? Yarkova. 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 Thanks, Victor. No problem. Well, I tried or it. Or just Olga to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all, all kidding aside, very impressed with this team, Linda. Uh, the number of things that our viewers could watch for. Number one, she's pretty yeah, confident. You know, she, she calls the shot pretty quickly. She gets the broom down quickly. They have made some serious yes. errors, but they've got away with them a little bit through the round robin. And I think that, uh, you know, what I was trying to say in, in my opening comments were that I think you have to oh, look at this. I got the hammer, threw up the corner. Hey, 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 let's play the game. But, I, you know, I really think that uh, if, if you can be a little bit more aggressive with her when you get her in a situation where there are a lot of rocks in play, you, you know, you have the edge. Obviously, Colleen has the experience. So if they're both going to be aggressive, it's going to be very important yes, to set the guards up in the right spot. We talked about that in the last game. Canadian men playing yes. that there are places where you will get more curl. And we have to put the rocks in those spots. And the other thing, of course, is to get the feel for draw weight. And that is something that, uh, unfortunately, David Nedwin found elusive in the last game for the men. But the times have been fairly consistent in that. When we look at the ice times measuring hog to hog, brought to you by Karcher, hits we do see nine seconds, hack at 11 and a half, but the draw is around 13 and a half. We do know when it curls more, it drags the speed off, and when it glides in the straighter spots, it will just carry. And so it's predictable in that way, and it's up to the brushers to watch the spot and know to get on it early when it's going to go and drag the speed. Those comments are, are the key, as far as I'm concerned. When it starts to curl, it starts to slow up drastically. If you're playing the turn that runs straight and rides a bit down that line, they will slide. Yes, we saw David struggle with that all afternoon. But a perfect call by the young skip. She gets a rock behind the tee line. She's got the hammer. Why am I waiting for anything? She throws up the corner. So let's get this game going. Ray referring to David, David Nedowin of the Canadian men's team that lost their second game in an extra end to the U.S. And Paul Pustivore this afternoon in their sixth draw. So the Canadian men now are four and two and trailing the first place Americans and Scots who sit at five and one. So the five sheets in play, as always, here at the Civic Center. And there are other teams who are desperate for wins, like Patty Lang to the U.S. is at four losses playing Switzerland. And Team Canada, obviously, at four and playing Russia in our featured game. Norway, Denmark, as Denmark tries to bring Dordy Nordby back. Scotland playing very well. Korea in their first appearance at a world championship are winless. And then you have Germany looking to play spoiler against Sweden, another of the teams in contention. Right up. Right up, right up. Good. Good, Marianne. Okay, Kim. Sweet, Those guys. are gliding better, whether it's the night well, or whatever. Well, it's 45, though. So Canada without the hammer. Line three. Well, unfortunately, the... Uh, Russian ran the corner guard off that was set up there, so now they are looking at three. We were talking about how impressed we are with the Russian team, and it really started, uh, Ray and I were chatting about this earlier, last year in Lausanne when we were watching the team and saw how well coached they seemed to be. Uh, apparently their coach used to be involved with basketball, but came to this team in 1998. And she seemed to have them working so well as a unit. They don't get down on each other. They seem fearless. Well, they just keep going and going so. and putting up rocks and, and making some very good shots. But I think they're very well coached. And if they do stay together, yep. apparently they get lots of practice time on the one curling club that they play at. And so they seem to have a good plan in trying to advance themselves as a unit and get lots of good experience like they are this year. That is that a, a hockey rink turned into curling or is that an actual curling club? 
I believe it's uh, actually I think it might be hockey, but I believe they I get. I mean, to put you on the no, spot. No, I was talking to Richard Harding from the WCF about it, and I think he said that they get as much curling ice time as they want. Now, whether that's yeah, I think it's in a hockey. I think arena. it is too, but yeah. it isn't one of those where they only get one or two hours a week. They get as much almost as they want, which is the hardest part in many of these countries. I know that Arnold Asham, a good friend of mine, has been over there a number of times. As the Russians do have the hammer here in the first and rolls it over on the corner. You talked about the Russians playing with so many stones and not playing it very defensively at times. Is there an is there something that the Canadians can do to take advantage of that range? Well, or do you just have to go with the flow? And if the Russians want to put the stones in play, then you just have to respond. To it. No, I mean, first of all, I, th I think that uh, w w when push comes to shove, that the Canadians can out execute them, Victor. I think that, you know, they're, they're a very, very good team. And, and, you know, we've been, you know, maybe in the, you know, in the last 20 minutes, we've been a little bit harsh on Colin because he, she just hasn't been the Colleen that we expect her to be in the sense. But there's a couple of things. She has been feeling really rough. She's got a very, very bad cold. Uh, you know, and sometimes when you when you're not feeling well, you do struggle a little bit with because uh, you don't feel good. You struggle a little bit with uh, the mechanics of the game and the throwing of the stone. You know, it can affect you. This young lady left the game in the fifth end. This morning, this morning yeah. she, she was sick this morning. So. And by unable to hold the shooter, somebody from the committee was telling me they've. They've had a uh, terrible flu season here, despite the fact the winter really hasn't been very harsh. But the flu has really hurt the community, and their hospitals have been full of flu patients. That's comforting. Yeah. Know, Vic. I, I'm not much. leaving my room from now on. <laughs> no, you can take off the surgical mask though when you're in here. No, okay. The poor Colleen, of course, is under uh, the regulations regarding anti-doping and. You can't take the medications that might make you feel better when you have a cold. So she, and she struggled with it all through the Scott Tournament of Hearts. It's been such a long time for her. You can see how quick this young lady makes her mind up. I mean, that was obviously she's going to hit the stone, so that's easy to do it there. But she, is, she shows a lot of confidence. And this is her first year of skipping, as Linda's already mentioned. And, and it, they throw very well. So they obviously do get a chance to, to work on their deliveries. And they've obviously had some some good help. I think that really is impressive, Ray, because we often as uh, instructors and coaches tell people don't practice if you're just practicing the wrong thing over and over. So it's not just that they have the practice time, but obviously somebody has taken them and given them very good guidance. Kira, we're saying? Kira. Kira, Ezek, and we're leaving the Russian translations to you. Yeah, well, it's very close to Swedish, isn't mm -hmm. it? So, uh, yeah, I need my uh, wife and her family here to help me with this. Colleen Clean. Jones. Clean. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Yep, yep. Nice shot. Nice throw, Skipper. That's nice weight. Oh, thank you. Now that, is that last? Opened last? with a couple of wins on the first day, Saturday, and then lost to Norway, Denmark. Germany was really hurt by a hog line violation when she had a hit against three and had the stone pulled, and it was a steal of three, and the Germans went on to win that one, and then they lost this morning against Scotland. They'll finish against the U.S. team, which will be desperate for a win, and then they finish against Korea, who are so far winless. You have to remember also this morning, uh, you know, maybe there were some shots in that game. I think we're, I definitely believe that we're uh, calling could be a little bit more aggressive to put herself in a little bit better position. But Scotland, uh, Lockhart made a raise from, uh, or a 15 foot raise to take a rock off the four foot. She didn't have to stick, but she still made a raise to, to win the game, a raise uh, split to make, to win the game. So. Olga Yarkova in just her first year of skipping. They had a disappointing Winter Olympics in Salt Lake, Linda. But the fact that this lady has moved up. Remember last year the skip was a lady by the name of Nina Golovchenko. She's gone back to school and so Olga has moved up. And then their coach that you were speaking about, Olga 
Adrian Nova did a little shuffling roster shuffling moved the lead up to third and has really seems to have found the right combination. Yep. And you have to give Olga credit too because we saw her numbers come up 76 percent second amongst the skips and she's 76 percent on draws and on hits so she's been very consistent with both aspects of her game. Nice shot. And when the draw weight has been so elusive she has been the top skip when we talk about just draws. And we all know Vic if you can't draw you can't skip so she can skip. Yeah, I think so. Roll first or the final stone here in the first. Oh, 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 and she'll hang it right on the edge and. Russia forced to take one. And you can hear them maybe discussing the brushing and what they were trying to do. Were you trying to lose it? Were you trying to sit there? Well, the Russians will take one. And Canada will have the hammer when we come back. One red. So there is the rock at the back of the house that Colleen ignores to put up the corner guard and Russia counters with the center line guard. And we just saw the come around attempt, which did not vary. Okay. <laughs> Yana Nekastrova in her second Worlds last year, she was the alternate, so she comes off the bench as it were with the retirement of Golovchenko and takes over in the second spot. And Skultan, who is throwing lead stones, was the second a year ago. That's a roll behind the guard. That is the one thing, Ray, we've talked about that it's okay, difficult to draw around the center guard, actually, easier to get the hit and roll because often those stones on the come around attempts are left open. That's because of that four foot line we talk about when you're putting the rush down. We saw David have a little, uh, Nedwin have a little trouble with that this afternoon and just getting the right spot. But it was mostly weight. David struggled with the weight this afternoon. And he'd be That's the first so to tell you. Just yeah, that was a game that slipped away from them because they control right up until the eighth end. They controlled the entire Hard. game. Hard. Oh. <gasps> It has been that kind of week for Marianne so far. She is ninth amongst the seconds, and we just never see her in that position. She's normally so steady. It's one thing in watching uh, Olga Yarkova. Very good. Thank you. Blizny. Uh, <laughs> is that uh, the, the, the tendency, and this is very, very, uh, you know, uh, most teams, inexperienced teams will do this kind of thing. They'll get a rock in position, then they'll just guard it to death, and she's been doing that all week. And she's only been bitten once or twice with big hands being thrown against her, but uh, that's a tendency when you're inexperienced to try. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this call, I'm just suggesting that you'll see her, once she gets a rock in position, she. She protects it. Uh, this tap back is a good shot here, actually. Pushed it into the open, had to hit it the other way. Regular. Linda, do you like this idea when there is so little depth of talent as they would probably yep. have in, in yep. Russia. Yep. Yep. That the coach would come along and say, you know what, I think you are best suited for this position. I want you here. I'm going to move you down here. Is that the way to do it? Or do you let them sort of pick their own and just go? Yeah. Well, Vic, I think in this case, the players are so inexperienced that uh, Olga would probably the, be the best one to understand the kind of skills that she wants to put in each of the positions. Now, she would probably be the first to notice if that wasn't working. It sounds like she's a, a very well-trained coach. And because they wouldn't come into it with experience at the various positions, I think that's the best place to start. 
Great roll by Marianne. Secure is playing the double raise, red under red under yellow, hopefully. Look at this. Wow. Up and then the jam at the back. Hit every rock on the ice. <laughs> Very nice shot, just the same. Just roll it over into this area here. What do you want to throw? Regular or board? I think board. Okay. Okay. Board. Yeah, we. Yep. Hard. Three. Hard. <coughs> Three yards. Hard. Work. Hard. Real hard. Well, in fairness. Look at the game between Germany and Sweden after they blanked the first. And it's Germany at 1 5. With the hammer playing Sweden. And this is the final stone on its way now from Natalie Nessler against Sweden and Margarete Sigfridsen. Germany is 1 in 5, just asking to keep it clean. And she's facing two. Takes the hit on the stone, on the button, and that little biter didn't allow her to go for the blank. Germany with a 1 0 lead. Rolls it and hangs it on the edge. Doesn't look like it. Canada got the jam. I, I don't think that was board weight that uh, came through there. I think that was underthrown a little bit. Yeah, the only thing I worry about regular is I only have half of that one. Okay. Four. Yep. Kelly. Now you say it. Wait, look pretty close. <sighs> and uh, just that little bit of a whip pushes that stone, maybe half of it behind cover. Chance to really put the pressure on the Canadians. It's a good call with the turn to play this direction. It doesn't leave a hit and roll behind the corner if you don't quite get buried. She's been very strong with her draw away. As I mentioned a few moments ago. Oh. Well, we have to remember now about Olga. She always did throw the fourth stone. She always did against when she played for Golovchenko. Golovchenko called the game. Well, she threw the fourth stone for the Russian team a year ago. Well, she must have got that one going because it uh, curled right out of her hand. Still three. Same as practice.
Colleen has moved, moved the broom out to the edge of the eight foot. And the first stone for the Lots Canadian skip here in the second. Lots Canada with the hammer room. trailing one nothing. Wait only, guys. We're okay. Kim Kelly, Mary Ann Way, get it by that one, get it by this one, yes. Now, all the way back, take it back, how far back? And it'll sit for shot back eight. Oh, this sheet looks a lot different than the sheet we played on this afternoon, uh, Linda, it because sure that, does. that uh, curled about four feet and there was no problem outside the four foot line. So it's really hard for as we move from sheet to sheet. I watched the practice a little bit, but. And that went from the line call by Nancy Delahunt of lots of room to about one second later, no, there's not. Yeah. It really went sideways. Final stone for Russia here in the second. Around 13 to 13 and a half at the hog line is a good weight. So that has lots. Catch anything in the Canadian stone? No, it'll slide too far. And so the Canadians will have a draw for two. I think you just threw the path, so. I think I took a little wider now. Definitely. Okay. Nancy Delahunt holding the brush. Yeah. I'm also going to watch for the snap. No need to get, you know, keep it that tight. Will it break that hard as, as Kim is, 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 is warning about? Well, her first one did, but uh, the uh, Oglestone didn't break for her. Mind you, she was back 12 foot weight, so. This really spooks from the hog in, you guys. Yeah, we're so going gonna to sweep yeah. it. <clears throat> so a chance for the Canadians to reply with a couple here in the second after Five Russia zero. got a single in the Five first. Right up. Right up. Kelly Five. and Marianne Way. You got it. Come on. Okay. Okay. Time would look good, Linda. It sure. looks very good. Oops, sorry, I just To the back of the eight for two for Canada here in the second. The Canadians take an early lead in a game they must win. They've lost four straight. The 2002 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Karcher, quality cleaning equipment by Nokia, proud sponsor of the Nokia Briar, and by Ford. Ford of Canada supports the love of the sport and the drive to achieve. It is the most coveted trophy in curling. And right now, it belongs to one person. Join WTSN for the 2002 World Curling Championships. Colleen Jones and her rink defend their title against some of the finest curlers in the world. Yes! Full coverage of the 2002 World Curling Championships continues nightly on WTSN. Women's Sports Television. I want to go quickly back to the game between Norway and Denmark. We showed you Norway and Dordi Nordby with her three in the first and now Lini Bitstrup, the Danish skip. Coming things with a record of four and two. Bitstrup in her seventh appearance at the Worlds. She was eighth in Salt Lake City and this is a draw against four. With Malena Kraus. And Aviana 
Lund at the front end, and she'll put it back of the button for a single. Norway has the hammer back, leading 3-1. The USA and Switzerland. Switzerland leading 2-0 there as they play in the third. Canada takes the lead, and the Russians will have the hammer when we get back to it. We just updated that for you. Scotland with a 1-0 lead over Korea. They blank the second. The Koreans have the hammer in the third. And it's 1-0 Germany leading Sweden. And it is Sweden that has the hammer in the fourth after the blank in the third. The Russian lead is... Anastasia Skultan. She's just 18. She's being called to play a freeze onto the Canadian stone. That was the first stone of the end. Came into the back of the four-foot area. Russia put up a corner guard. Colleen's team tried to draw around the corner, and it came up just short of where they wanted it. So bringing you up to date on what's happened so far here in the third. So that was the first stone that Colleen played into the four-foot area. Corner guard is just over the hog line, so Colleen tried to draw around it. That's the tight guard now. And that was the freeze attempt that just over curled. Nice weight. And now this is the first of the second stones for Canada and Marianne Way. This is the oldest member of the team. This is 26-year-old Yana Nekrasova. Boy, diving at that guard. Nice brush to save it. And they just nearly get the flip in behind. Well, he actually wanted to roll in front of the stone uh, the other way, but... Regular. Tony Linda, how it goes. His team was 10th in Salt Lake, and here they are in contention for the playoffs. Well, they weren't at the top of my list based on their past experiences, but uh, they have played very tough. Now, this morning against Norway, Russia did not have a very good game, and that was a little bit of what we expected from them, but they have made some big shots during the week, and as Ray said, they've gotten some breaks. Like that, Canada missing the hit. Marianne Wade just hasn't been herself. Uh, it's a very accomplished team, and, and especially the, you know, on the wide open shots, shots of that nature. It's things you don't, don't normally see from them. Da. Wide open misses. Da. Da. Da, 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 but this sheet is quite a bit different than the sheet we were on this afternoon. Doesn't seem to be any problem with the four foot line at all. Not to this point, anyway. Nekrasova. To lie two with the hammer here in the third. <laughs> yep. Firm, Kim. Okay. The Masters, the first two rounds, you can see them on TSN beginning Thursday, 2 Eastern time. We'll look back to Tiger Woods' win of a, a year ago. Then we'll preview the first round, and that includes the many course changes as they've tried to lengthen it and take away some of the advantage from the big hitters. They've added some 60 yards to the 18th. Last year, Tiger hit driver sand wedge in. 
And now they're uh, trying to at least make him go up to a nine. It's a nice call. They can get the stone to stop in front of that T-line. They'll be buried behind the corner guard. And you're right, Ray. Olga just bounced up. She couldn't wait after that rollout by Canada to put down the broom for the nice. come around attempt. She really does have a feel for the game plan. Regular. Regular. Kim Kelly. Been a tough week so far for the United States and Patty Lank out of Madison, Wisconsin. Coming in at two and four, the Swiss champions from Lausanne, skipped by Manuela Corman at three and three. Switzerland scored two with the hammer in the second, and this is the final stone for the U.S. champion, a native of Weyburn, Saskatchewan, in her third appearance at the Worlds. She was the runner up in 97, losing to Elizabeth Gustafson. There, look at that. It is one and two for the Swiss. Four nothing now. Switzerland leads it as the struggles continue for the States. Well, do you wonder why Patty threw it that way? I think she felt a hair or something under the rock because after she finished giving it that big shove and spin, she went back and cleaned the area in front of the hack. Although those two did the same thing. So it's the button. And while you say, yeah. Linda, the Canadians can only worry about their own games, they do need some help. And that was one game right next door to them. The U.S. also at four losses could help them by bringing Switzerland back. The Swiss are at three and three. <laughs> Colleen Jones. Nothing wrong with uh, splitting the rings like uh, Russia nice did. It was an opportunity maybe to have tucked in behind that long corner guard again and really put the pressure on Canada, but nice you're play she's playing by splitting the rings. She's playing for a deuce, and she'll be happy to get that. She also could have frozen down to the back one, on the face of the back one, and uh, uh, that means that the Canada would be facing a rock buried behind the corner guard and one maybe frozen to a backstone. Those are little things, but those are things that obviously, with her sense for the game, she's going to learn. Right out of her hand, Olga Yarkova with Kakasova and Skultan jumping all over it. Trying to hold the shooter, and he, she won't, and out it goes. Because look at that one, see that. Well, you know what? I can't help but think it looks like a dam. Yeah. Norway, Denmark. Okay. In Denmark, you can see the yellow stone behind that little two stone wall sitting back of the button. Final rock for Norway and Dorney Nordby. Denmark is four and two, Norway five and one. So the Danes will try and bring Norway back. Really has to hook in there quickly, and it will not. And it will be a steal of one for Denmark. Three two going to four. That's above the team. And our sheet calling gets a chance now with the rollout to yeah. come down and freeze in the face uh, behind the corner and be shot rock behind the long corner. Closest to the Line stone, guys. Kim Kelly now. out in front, and it's Don't just been a. That, Nance. It'll bump. It's not just been a clean. Okay, it's not it's on it. It might be a little heavy. Yeah, okay. Oh. And it doesn't touch it at all, and 
slides to the back Ryan edge of the 12. Stoppage. Missed opportunities, and so the Russians will have a chance to draw for two. And this is a big point for the Russian skip. She set it up. They got their great come around on the corner guard. Now you need to make the draw. Full 12. That's what she needs, Olga Yarkova. Uh oh, she thinks she may be a little light because she's jumped out now to join the front end just put it in the paint and here they come all of them now with Ezek as well <laughs> and right on the pin for the two and the russians will take the lead three two through three Let's meet the teams in throwing the lead stones for Russia, Anastasia Skulta. For Canada, Nancy Delahunt. The seconds are Yana Nekrasova and Marianne Way. The thirds, Kira Ezek and Kim Kelly. And the skips. From the Moskvich Curling Club in Moscow, Olga Yarkova. And from the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax, Canada's Colleen Jones. The 2002 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you in part by Husky and Mohawk, leaders in fuel, food, and convenience. By JVC, excite your senses. And by Whirlpool Home Appliances, proudly supporting extraordinary Canadian women athletes and everyday champions across the country. Downtown Bismarck. And we'll update you on all the scores. Switzerland leading there. Denmark with a steal of one. Norway leading by one. Scotland up by one on so far winless Korea. And Sweden with a 2-1 lead over Germany as they play in the fifth. Sweden just scoring a couple. As we welcome you inside. This very nice building, the Bismarck Civic Center. Seventh draw of women's play. Nancy Delahunt. The women will play once tomorrow and then one more yep. time in round robin on Thursday. That will finish play. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. The men play twice tomorrow and then Good. once on Thursday. <laughs> and as we say, the Canadians really do have to win it out. Get on a run here because Norway, Scotland, and then you see the two teams or the three teams at two losses ahead of them. And as well, Switzerland's there. The Canada at four losses needs to win, needs some help to get themselves into a tie uh, playoff scenario or a tie breaker. If you put them together, that would be a tie off. <laughs> That's right. Do you look at the Olympics, Vic, and uh, there was three teams tied at five and four after round robin play. Yeah. And you know, one of those went on and won the gold medal. So it can happen. It's just that if you're Canada, you're not playing other than Russia teams that are above you. So you need help from others. That's a big goober. Well, the first rock came to the top of the full to the 12 foot or half on the 12 foot or calling through up the corner guard. That's the Yellowstone you're looking at it. Then the little tap back and now the hit and looking for the roll. Jump it over. Nice shot. And we'll stick a piece behind that stone in the top of the 12. Well, 
Well, she's asking at the other end, do they want to try and make a clean pass or raise the uh, Red Rock top 12 onto it? And they're going to try and go by that goal, rock goal. to get at the Canadian stone. As you can see enough of it. It's, it's almost wide open. For Yana Nekrasova. Linda, we have talked about Colleen and what she doesn't like. Last year, teams didn't put a lot of stones in play. And we thought that would be Colleen's problem. And Colleen, to her credit, went on to win the World Championship and then coming back this year to defend and winning the Scott again. And there's no taking that away from her. But in looking at the problems she's had in previous worlds, is this more like those years have the teams, in fact, changed their style of play against Colleen, or is this just a Canadian team right now that's flat and not yep. executing and playing very well? I think it's a combination, Vic. I do think Three. the teams are playing them differently this year and putting more rocks in play, but it is not the team that we saw at the Scott, and I think the, the main thing, I guess, is Marianne Way really struggling, hurry, hurry. and Colleen is struggling, and we already mentioned that she's got this really bad cold, so that may be part of it. And there's Marianne Way making the come around, and then curling maybe just a little too much. Shot stone still appears to be the the red stone at the back edge of the E8. Yep, you see, I mean, that's the way it's been for her, and then you look here, or in Lausanne, 0 and 2, and then winning nine. And here, starting with two straight wins and losing four in a row. One thing, though, the Canadians have tried to do is they've gone back to their whites. Uh, they've won both their games wearing their white Canadian shirts. They've lost all four wearing their reds. Now, the unfortunate part about it, Vic, is you don't have a choice because that's based on rock colors. So even though they're your, your lucky shirts, you're not allowed to wear them. You could wear them <laughs> underneath, I guess, and just cover them on top with the unlucky shirts, and maybe that would kind of make it work. Neutralize it. Neutralize it, yeah. So, you know, Vic, I know exactly how you feel. Sometimes I think I'm so wise, and she always comes up with these little things. <laughs> and then you feel, oh. Well, I suddenly felt that <laughs> stupid. Her, her, her foot on my throat. Yeah. Yeah, whoa. 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 No. No, no, no. Nice Nothing. try, Vic. Cuff you. I up. thought there what you go. said made a lot of sense. Right. Well, we're sticking together here, guys. You know us. Canada the line one, the second shot still appears to be the red stone. Canada with the hammer down 3-2 as we play in the fourth. And yeah, Kim. I tell ya. Canadian fans feel the same way. You gotta be careful, Victor, because you know Linda goes to bed with all the stats and the rule book. <laughs> <laughs> anxious with the brushing. Still a good chance with those rocks behind the tee line and the corner guard up. You can get a couple more in behind there, perhaps. You don't have to worry about even coming back and tapping that. Just get the round the corner guard, get into the eight foot uh, with those two stones behind it, and you'll set up, uh, set up your deuce. One wrong hit, uh, maybe three. Make sure, girls. We got room. <laughs> Line's fine. Got room. Good. Got room. Got go well, if you can, girls, it has Full to end. end. Full eight above the tee. They really don't want to let up on the brushing, Bring do they, Mary Ann Way and Nancy down. Delahunt, trying to Bring drag it all the way out. back. And Good. Nice shot, I'm Kim. I'm finding Kim's hit weight a little big. Is anybody else noticing that? Or? Yeah. It's a lie. A little firm. One. So this is what is ahead on Wednesday here at these Ford Worlds. The Canadian men will try and rebound after losing to the U.S. He'll play twice against Denmark and then Finland. Colleen Jones will play just once against the U.S. in a game that we all hope will mean something for Jones and the Canadians. The Americans are in exactly the same situation tonight against Switzerland at two and four.
That was a very nice shot. That's the perfect spot, Linda. A little mistake here, and you can set up not only two, maybe three. That rock is pretty covered. And the jam can't hold the shooter, and the Canadians are lying one with the hammer. Red. Ooh, that's tempting, isn't Barry. it? It was a hard shot, because she could only see half. That's a Barry. U.S. down by four the to the Swiss. Oh, team from Lausanne scored two with the hammer, then stole two. Final stone from Patty Lang from the Canadian U.S. champions from Madison, Wisconsin. Makes the hit and will score two. And so it's 4 2 Switzerland as they go to five. Well, this, this is a golden opportunity and okay. exactly well, what uh, Colleen should do. <laughs> going in behind the corner guard. Uh, full at, you know, buried around there for sure. Kim, how much did you bury by the end of your about, life? About half, maybe even like two-thirds. I talked I'll about the fact there was room for a couple of more rocks of both colors, as I was referring to then, but now the position's even better for Colleen, the way the rocks have been rearranged. She's tightened up the ice fine. just a little bit. Line Actually, Yarkova couldn't line expect anything fine. more than what happened. I mean, yeah, there was, she had really had no, she played yeah, a shot where... She had no shot right with that it, kind of right weight, and it. the jam was right to it, had to be with a good come around now. Right Colleen can get her three points. Big brush here, way. Kelly tried to take it all the way down. Drag it there, take it a little bit more. Got to be, and it'll come up light. Great line too. Just needed another pound of weight. Oh man. Let's go, yeah. We did get a rock clock right that it, right showed that it, it was light, and they tried right to drag it. Hurry, hurry, right to it. Quick. But as it's Quick. curling, we know what happens. The speed just goes down and down, and they could not get it there. You can almost play a split on that, depending on what she does with this. Although she really doesn't have. She could. She could try to come around and maybe just try and tuck it behind there a little bit, but very difficult shot. So she's chosen to come down and try and play the raise on this one. Sitting right there, she would try and uh, sit right there and then push that stone back to about here. Still not quite sure how they're going to approach this as Yarkova comes back down to talk with You do have to be careful because the shooter would be then not shot rock over the other yellow, and if you happen to hit it in a wrong spot, there might be a chance for Colleen to get a bigger end. Maybe that's why they're changing. That's what they talked about, I think. So she's gone to the come. She's gone to the come around. Try and get the stone anywhere here, even a, just a very little bit around this rock here, and it makes it difficult for Colleen to get it out. Final stone for the Russians in the fourth. Nikrasova schooled down as it rides that center line, and now as it gets to the hard line, that little bit heavy, Linda. It depends if it slows down on the curl here, Vic. That's the best she could do, Linda. That really is a good shot. 
Eli shot Stone. Could have been a little higher in the house, maybe. Yeah. So the angle for them was a bit better onto the Canadian Rock. The stops in the eight foot is the dimensions is a little bit better for her, but a pretty nice come around just the same. Can be tapped back, but it's a delicate little shot. Give me full on the other side there now. This is strictly a weight shot. She's got to try and get down. Backline weight. You heard the conversation. Tap that back. Just into this area here. So, it, what was her long on that? Okay. Try and score the deuce. Chance for two for Canada. Colleen Jones. That's not much more than the first one. Back up. I don't think it is. Back eight. You heard. Kim Kelly saying we got to take this a little less than the first one she threw. Marianne Way. Got to get it by a stone top 12 foot. Got to get it by that one. And they will not spill it in. Will it get enough of the four foot? Will not. And so Russia will steal one here in four. It's all right, we're getting this one back. We've got lots of chances coming. We're nearing the midway point of this women's seventh round. Let's continue our updates for you. And Norway and Denmark. And a little dancing by Hannah Woods. Dordie Nordby and her final stone. Norway up 3-2 and the two-time world champion, 1990-1991. And she crashes in front. And there you see the one stone belonging to Norway. So she does pick up a single 4-2. It was a draw 4-2. Scotland and Korea as they play in the fifth, 2-1. Scotland. This is the final stone for the Korean skip. Making their first appearance out of Seoul. This is Mi Yeon Kim. And this is a chance for two if she could hold the shooter. No, so that little biter right over there around 8 o'clock. And they're tied 2-2 two -two as they go to the break. 1-2-3 blank and Sweden leading Germany 2-1. to one. The Germans have the hammer in the sixth. We updated that for you. They're in the break. Scotland will have the hammer when they pick it up. Denmark has the hammer there. Down 4-2. Four, 4-2 two. Four, two Russia leading. Canada with the hammer in five. And the USA has come back with their deuce. Switzerland leading with the hammer as they play in the fifth. In this seventh draw of women's play here at the Ford Worlds and the problems continue for the Canadians. Down four to Canada with the hammer. You throw a 70 split, Nance. Well, that was a nice shot by the Russian skip. There's no question. I mean, it very, the tap back was there for Colleen. And she just under threw it, and, and uh, there was a chance for two. Halfway. It's good tilt. Now this is the pattern we have seen from Colleen, which in my opinion is a bit surprising with them being down two points. She did hit on the first attempt when the rock was in the top of the house. The rock rolls over and now Colleen puts up the corner guard. And I was talking to the Canadian men and they do do that as well, but more often when the score is close and they don't want to play in that center line area, they like to try and get the rock off that area first and then put up the corner. I don't think so down 4-2, though. No. Oh, 
Boy, they duck it around that guard and are lying two without here in five. And the key to it, Vic, is they're not making the mistake of slipping behind the T-line and things of that nature. Mary Ann Way. Yep. Hurry. We got this one, Kim. The Yellow Hunt. Have you got it? Yes, they do. Very nice brushing. Nice Kim nice Kelly, Nancy Delahunt. And it was the brushing that held that. You're right, Vic. But it did roll to the open, so the Russians can play the nose hit. Well, coming up Saturday, 7 Eastern Time, 4 Pacific, prior to our coverage of the men's semifinal from here in Bismarck, the Whirlpool Battle of the Sexes. Your hosts will be Paul Savage, Kim Gillard, Griffin, and John Wells as six men face six women for $20,000 in prizes. And those on the women's team include Sherry Mada, Marilyn Bodo, way back. Jennifer Way Jones okay. from Manitoba. They'll go against the likes of Wayne Madog, E. Hemmings, Hurry. and Jeff Stoughton. Hurry, Baron's on hard. I can't okay. sweep there. Okay. Good shot. Good call. A long way around once you get past that guard. Room for it to move a little bit. Kira Ezek. And this is where they have struggled a bit. And they'll crash in front. Absolutely no weight. That was almost draw weight. So it's that th just three and a half this way, right? You threw 45. Mm. Kim Kelly. Hard girls. <laughs> Hard girls. Hard. Your line's fine. Hard. Line's Make great. sure I'm there. Hurry. Look at that great brushing. Hard Very close to the stone. Two. Brushes Hurry. close Hard. to each other. Marianne right Way. Very nice. They'll take it all the way around. Hurry. Now they have to get it there. Oh, okay. goodness. Such great line, too. It was absolutely perfect. Just no weight. Huh? And she threw absolutely no weight on the last one, so. Take it roll there, I can roll all the way across, too. Okay, just nice regular. There definitely is a long way to roll where you would still be behind some sort of cover. Whoa, no, it's clean. No, it's Close. Whoa. Yes! Whoa. 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 Waiting no. for it to break, if it will. And it just makes a move, but how would you have to approach that to get the kind of 
movement to come across the face to get the roll. A little down, take a little more less swing. Yeah. You could do that, but there was nothing wrong with the way they just you know, obviously had touched too much ice, or she was full one or the other. I think when she let it go, she kind of indicated she might have been a little on the full side of the room. The weight was fine to get the roll. And you could, you could, Vic, throw a little less weight and throw it to the brushers. But there were so many rocks to roll behind, as Linda mentioned, that the weight was fine. They are getting a few mistakes from Olga, but she has made a couple of very nice shots as well. I think it will go, Nancy. Yeah. You have to really Kay. watch it. Well, she's been stuck on 199. Colleen Jones, it has been a wonderful career and continues to be as such. Defending Canadian champion, world champion. And those are all the wins she's had through championship play, but with her two wins here, she's at 199 and looking for 200 again tonight. Clean only. Yep. Oh. Nobody's been Close. able to find that little flip behind Close. cover. Whoa, whoa, Colleen whoa, Jones whoa, now whoa. with her first. Whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Can she get across whoa. the face and jump Three, it over three, a little three, bit more? Very shot. nice, Colleen Jones. Lovely shot. Nice shot. Nice throw, Colleen. Thanks. Very nice. Throw. They kept waiting and waiting. Then we're ready to brush. Got it most of the way behind that guard. Linda, we've talked before about when you're playing a team that, well, is it relatively new? There's just their second year. Is there anything about the Russians that may be surprising the Canadians in the way they're playing, or are they in fact playing a, a good? Well called, solid, thrown game. It may surprise them a little bit that Russia coming into this week played this aggressively, but if they've been scouted so far, Vic, can they, the Canadian team would know that they are aggressive, and I think they're playing some very nice shots. She's going to try and pick this out of there, but she has to be careful not to hit that stone right there, because if she does, she could drive it over here and give away more than the two. You like the call, Ray? She can't see very much of this. It's one of those things that inexperienced do, teams do that they're always trying to get the shot rock. Sometimes you have to concede it, maybe just draw to the face and called right off now. Has she got enough? Catch it. Catch it. Oh. And she'll push it in behind. Cover and Canada now will have the draw for two. She could have picked it out. Just had, and she couldn't miss it on the other side. She couldn't be chipping the Yellowstone into the rings, is what I mentioned. I think she gave herself that little bit yeah. of extra ice to yeah. ensure she didn't, and that's why it just went quite straight down yep. that spot. Lynn, explain what Ray mentioned, because that, yeah, that's a good point, that inexperienced teams always want to go after. I think sometimes club teams obviously do that want to go after the shot stone. Actually, we've seen it in a lot of games, and not just from the exper inexperienced teams like Russia, where people want to make sure they get rid of shot rock. Instead of just saying, I'll get close to the shot rock and only concede the single, not give up a deuce. Mine's great. It's that race to be shot rock that everybody it, has in their head. Well, like, fight the eight. Go. Yep. Fight the eight. Three. Great Time two. looks fine. Nice shot. Good roll by Colleen, set up that deuce. Very nice. So she and Canada will pick up two here in five. Canada in a must win will go to the break. Tied with Russia.
The 2002 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Nokia, proud sponsor of the Nokia Briar, by Karcher, quality cleaning equipment, and by Ford. Ford of Canada supports the love of the sport and the drive to achieve. Well, this is how critical this draw is for the Canadians because when you look at the standings, you don't see Canada. You don't see them in the first five where you've got the five teams at one loss or two. And in fact, you don't see the Canadians in the first six when you look further down because sitting at three losses will be Switzerland. There's Canada at four. So you have to win if you're Canada. You have to win out. You have to finish at least five and four and then they'll need some help and hope teams drop back so they might get into a tiebreaker. So let's update you now because all the games have reached the midway point and the USA could help Canada if they could beat Switzerland and bring them back. Canada must win. Denmark is at two losses. Forget them. Scotland, well, they're everyone tied for first place with Norway, but Sweden is one of those teams now at two losses that you might need to come back. And of course, they're playing Germany and right now down. That's why this draw is so important here in Bismarck. It is the most coveted trophy in curling. And right now, it belongs to one person. Join WTSN for the 2002 World Curling Championships. Colleen Jones and her rink defend their title against some of the finest curlers in the world. Yes! Full coverage of the 2002 World Curling Championships continues nightly on WTSN, Women's Sports Television. In a must-win, Canada and Russia tied 4-4 as we get ready to resume here in the sixth. Stay with us right after the game for the TSN Turning Point, brought to you by Super 8. And before we start it up, Let's check the numbers after five with Linda, the brought to you by True Value. Well, the draw percentage is still something that's very elusive, that draw weight for the two teams. It was a really nice steal by Russia. You know, they've put together some very good shots. Team percentage is close, but at the skip position, Colleen Jones, who had been struggling, is by far out curling the Russian skip. And uh, we saw one mistake last in. The Russian skip missing and gave Colleen a draw for two. So this may be the area where Colleen has to execute herself to get the points. Good, Nance. Nice weight. First yeah, stone from Nancy Delahunt, Canadian lead. Way, as it stands currently. Just slipping behind the tee Oh, line. bummer. I see them. Well, you have to say, if it doesn't happen this year, and it looks like it still could happen, that uh, this Russian team makes the playoffs, they are very well schooled, as I said at the start. And I am very impressed. She is cool. She just says, Does, doesn't matter where that first stone is, the Canadian she stone's says, biting the button. I'm just putting I up my corner easy. guard. Now, Linda, is there something not necessarily wrong in it? But she could very easily say, all right, you've come in. I'm going to play one wide open and just let's try and exchange stones and go through them a blank and then I'll take my hammer to seven. The attitude seems to be for the Russians. I've got the hammer. When I do, Long I'm going to always try and score come. with it. Long way to come. You're right, Vic, in that We're it may be come something it. where We're she has to realize the pattern like doesn't it. work every end. But so far from what we've seen, well, they well, have made a lot well, of shots. Well. And if they get the mistake, if Canada comes a little too tight, Good like Nancy. this one is, or leaves oh, an opening, that corner guard is going to execute, get them some extra points. Thanks. And so I do give her full credit, though, although she sticks with her pattern because it seems that that's what she's been trained to do, it has worked for them. And this is the right call here. She's playing the hit and roll. There's a possible double. She doesn't get the roll. She's got the corner guard out in front to 
Sometime throughout this end, try and get in behind it. No better time than right now if she gets the nice roll. The other thing I said, Vic, a couple of times, Olga has been given input from the rest of the team, including the front end, and they've been right. And she's very good at listening to that input. And so most of the time, they have come up with the right shot. From here. Just tuck around here. The jam. Leaves the Canadians lying shot. Do you want a Christmas tree in case we straight back? Okay. Now, while the Canadians just try to do their part and win the game, they could use some help. And one of those teams that could help them would be the United States. Also sitting at four losses, Patty Lang playing Switzerland. We need to finish it a little, eh? As they play in the sixth. This is the final stone for the Swiss skip out of Lausanne. Manuela Corman. And this is a draw against a couple. Now it's a case of where it will stop. Slide a little too far. Slide too far. Looks like it may have. And it'll be a steal of one for the U.S. at a 4 4 tie. The U.S. at four losses. Switzerland's at three losses, so the U.S. trying to bring Switzerland back. She's playing the straight back. And trying to run her own red rock back onto the rock on the forefoot. What do you have here, Marianne? Third. Guard? Yeah, why don't we just guard? Do you want a guard or do you want to come double. in around the center line guard? Do I don't mind around, that. but we don't need to. I wouldn't mind another guard on it. I like that. Guard? Yeah, I like it too. Or come in here. What? Okay. Just think about it. I like the guard, Colleen. Yeah, I know. I just thought maybe the intern. I'll just give you a little more. Right. Pick with me. That should be good. A little tighter. We can go right around if you yeah. want. Yeah, go then. Yeah, go in. Yeah. Marianne Way, <laughs> Kelly, and Della Hunt. Oh, nice brushing great again shot. by those two. That's a great shot. Nice one. Thought we might have left it. I did too. That rock does take yeah. off, doesn't it? It's a crazy rock. <laughs> well, she recognizes she's in trouble here, so she's going to try and run something off the front. Get the front off, get the rock in the rings if possible. And she'll get two out of there, but leave the shooter just off center. No. That was one of those tough choices. You had to go to either one of the two rocks. You <laughs> went, <laughs> went to the wrong Always one because you could see the other one hung on as a... Indie, I guess. That happens all the time. The other one, of course, had to go further, so you're, you're on your way to it. Tim Kelly. It's a lot less Got lots of line. <laughs> on its own for a bit. Whoa, guys, whoa. Whoa, not in. That's not in. Good. Oh, pretty not good, in. isn't it? We're up way to tight. Whoa! It's pretty tight. Let's get a wrong split. Shot, Kim. That was no 76. Kira Ezek, as we play third stone. Here in the sixth of a 4 4 tie. 
trying to hold the line now. Run it back. Drive it by. And now another stone out in front. And they're staggered. Perfect. Norway and Denmark as they play in the sixth. And you can see the Danish stone, the yellow stone. Just through the legs there. That's the shot stone as we wait for the final rock from Denmark's Lini Bidstrup. Norway coming in at five and one, Denmark four and two. Now, if you're Canada, you don't mind the Norwegians running away and hiding. They can win everything. You'd like Denmark, if you're cheering for Canada, to lose because that would give them a third loss and bring them back. And this is a tough draw to catch anything. Uh, get second shot. She will not. So it's one for Denmark. Norway leads 4 3. As they go to seven. But with Norway at five and one and Scotland at five and one, Linda, oh. that's it. You oh. let them go. You yeah, just you need don't worry about them back. at all. Exactly. Yeah. But you can't be watching those other games either. Vic already said that. That one's right next door, and you just have to block that one out if you're Canada. They have something going, this hand. They have that one. Remember that one that I said earlier? It's right on the button, right from the start. It's still sitting there. There's a good indication too that the Russian team has to learn to play those kinds of shots with a lot more weight. I mean, that, that wasn't even, that wouldn't have been enough even to move the stone. Actually, if she'd hit it uh, properly, it would have raised the Canadian stone right to the forefoot. Those kind of shots you play with good solid weight. You don't have to throw runners like you see the men play, but uh, if you, you know, if you, obviously if you can't throw that weight, but you have to throw solid weight at it. Guard out Where front. First nice. stone for Colleen Jones. I have a lot hurry. of them out there right now. Hurry, hurry. She's going to get this hurry. to cover the stone. She can't leave right a up, hole because right now up, there's girl. a second okay, stone fine. in the ring. So. Okay. I keep going. Oh, well, keep it up, Mary. Tell us now. Okay. That's good. Scotland and Korea in a 2 2 tie as they play. In the seventh. Head off, head off. Final stone for Scotland and the skip Jackie Lockhart from Aberdeen. Oh, and there's that yellow stone at the back. That's the counter. And Korea now goes in front 3 2. Yarkovan, her first stone, the Russian skip. Ooh, and now, spin in far enough. Good brush by Nancy Delahunt, and Canada is lying two without. You can see the advantage of being able to throw weight. And if you're throwing good weight at that, that rock is spinning in, yes, but not staying in the rings. It's spinning out of the rings. And she threw more weight than her, the third did, but, you know. And she's taking so much ice that I don't think she's getting the read on the ice because the third's weight is so soft and then she's taking too much ice and still maybe not enough weight. Just close the room and really fire it. No, no. What are we doing? Guard. She can get the double and put two of the guard right there. I'm just afraid I might leave them a double over here. Right here. I know, but is that no, a double on the yellow one that's in the house? Right. Not to stay. Is that a double on this one then? Well, isn't it a nose, almost a nose hit, Nance? It would be to stay. Okay. I know what you're saying. I guess you have to kind of put the guard, you know, right there, right? Unless you want to just right come right to, to here. That's, that's, there's nothing wrong with that right there, you know? I think so. Okay, right here then. Wait, how's your, what's the ice then, Colleen? 
first call was just to play a guard, and Colleen was right. Well, if I just play the guard, then she makes the double on me by hitting this one here onto this one. They could they could possibly yeah. bring this rock into play and score two. So we better come right in, and she's going to bring the rock right in to this area here. I think so. I mean, could you not bring it all the way oh, yeah. to in top yep. four foot? I mean, well, take it I right there. You sure could. Go yeah, the line's good. Yeah. yeah. Do you? Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to get, let her. Long you don't want to let her play the back one and get shot yeah. rock. This way, you know, if you can just stop it in the top eight foot, then. Okay, back to three two. Mm -hmm. Okay. I lift your you got her in good trouble here. You want to make sure that uh, you get your single stolen or make her look at three. This is the kind Lines of pressure perfect. we suggested top the Canadian eight. team should exert on the Russians. We're more than top eight. How's we the line? Whoa, then. We're bumping. Do you want to bump off this? Bump off that no, a little? I think we just have to leave it. It's going to bump anyway, though. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. It's a little too deep. At least they can't get a two, though. <laughs> It's not bad, Skipper. We might still get a steal Well, is it too that. deep, yeah. Ray? Yeah, it is. It, 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 it. Nose hit gives her the double, and I she scores see. a single. If you put it up on the top of the eight foot, now she's really in, tr in trouble to get a single. Oh, she just has to hit this on the nose, Vic, and she gets uh, she gets one. If you take this stone here, this, this stone right here, and place it right there, you can see the predicament that the Russians are in. She may have to, you know, come up, try and run one back and cut it down, but you can see how deep it came. So facing three, final stone for Russia and Olga Yarkova. And right under her hand, here they go now. It's Pekrasova in school 10. This enough weight. Find the hole. Get it by. Got it. Got them both. Very nice. And it'll roll to the edge of the four for the single point for the Russians here in the sixth. <laughs> Russia leads at 5 4. Canada has the hammer when we come back. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Edwin from Team Canada. Watch us tomorrow on TSN. And the Canadian men will play two games on Wednesday, and they'll play their first against Denmark and Ulrich Schmidt, coming off a loss to the Americans to drop to four and two. In fact, both teams are at four and two. We'll have it for you 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. So here are the men standing, Scotland and the U.S. Tied for first, we still have this four-team separation, but Finland moved up to three and three. That's Marco Yusi Pavlonieme, so they need some help. Norway's there, Switzerland's there. They'll need some teams to come back and join them, and right now the potential there is for uh, a number of tiebreakers, and Japan would be on the bubble at four. Canada. On the bubble at four. Two and four coming into this must win game against Russia, and they trail as we go to seven. Well, when we go on to see the, you know, the end result of this game, you can remember that end. Hopefully, it, it isn't going to make a difference, but that was really a, one of those absolutely golden opportunities to steal a point because you really had her in trouble. You put that in the top of the eight foot, and I don't know what she has. She probably has to make, maybe make the, the pocket double to give up only one. Um, because it would be very risky to come around on the outside and tap that red up. If you, make, if you don't make it, you could give up three. three. That's right. So, opportunities. That was a good one. Just too deep. Colleen just came too deep. But that was a nice come around by Nancy with the corner guard. Uh, was supposed to be closer to center for Russia. Really did come off to the corner side. Yes. 
shaking her hand as she let it go. And that's the reason. Go around on the other turn. I'm going to throw your other one, Marianne. Because these are both straight. Five. Just changing so off the stones weight, because right, I feel that they're better matched by putting a different pair together for minutes. both Nancy and Marianne. You've got lots of weight there. You've got lots of weight, guys, and your line's fine. Get some room. Tons of room. Get some room. It's coming nice now. Hard. Trying to sneak it nice around guys. that red up. stone Hard. if they can. Nice brush Hurry by right Mary Ann Way and Kim right Kelly, and they'll get it to the top edge of the eight to lie to Canada with the hammer as we play in seven. Well, look at that mess. Germany and Sweden, and it appears the Swedes are lying too. Those are the two stones on the button. Sweden skipped by Margareta Sigurdsson. But it is Maria Engholm that throws the fourth stone. 3-2 Germany leading. And Germany again trying to help the teams, including Canada, at four losses. Trying to bring Sweden back. They're four and two. Oh, they couldn't hold a shooter. That was a... Hit for three if she could have sat right there. They'll get a deuce. And Sweden, 4-3 leaders going to eight. This is a great situation shaping up for Canada. Another miss by Russia. Just chipped the one guard and couldn't get anything out in the house. Canada sits two. Yeah, really. Maybe two, nine. Marianne Way. Room, yep. Hard. Whoa, 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 you got room, you got room. You got room. You got room still. Can we go right back? I don't want to go too deep on it. Oh my God, did we sweep it through? Well, they never let up. Their heads were down and right. Colleen was calling them off and they just kept brushing. You know just, just hung on in the back. If it was not open. True. Not true. Yana Nakasova. Need a big Whoa. shot from Yana, looking Whoa. for the hit and roll. So Russia lying one, just center line, biting top eight. Nice to have rolled that away to the other side, but yeah, I was surprised. Colleen yeah. seemed to want to be in that area, try to get a tiny roll. It was a tough roll oh, yeah. the other direction. Better to roll but away. This is a chance with some weight. Trying to make a double here. No, I think just a hit and roll. Hit and inside roll on top of it. Yeah. Kira Ezek. And she's not throwing those with any weight whatsoever. I mean, that's back ring weight. Or just the open side. I'll go around the corner. We left lots of room. Well, look at this. Norway by one as they play in the seventh. 
And that Danish stone at the back of the button is the shot stone. Final rock on its way from Norway and Doherty Nordby playing the in off, Linda. This is the kind of shot she just loves, Vic. Watch this, see if she can do it as she usually does. Well, that is the shot of a two time world champion. Doherty Nordby picks up the deuce and now leads 6 3. Trying to hand Denmark a third loss and bring them back towards teams like Canada. If you're playing Doherty Norby, you don't want to leave her the big in offs because she makes them all the time. She just loves them. You try to keep yeah, the game a little more simple against her. <laughs> it's your, it's your ball, ball there, Colleen. Right back, right back, right back. Great shot, Kim. The next edition of Sports Center comes your way at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific. You may have seen that the Toronto Raptors won again. My oh, goodness. Saku Koivu is playing for Montreal tonight as the Canadians look to lock up a playoff spot for the first time in three seasons. Blue Jays baseball, Expos baseball, busy time. And of course, complete wrap on the three draws here at the Ford World. Well, there's another indication of just absolutely no weight. I don't know if I'll be in. The thing is that we can't really leave her there, though. Okay. okay. Best to get rid of that anyway. Definitely. I believe she was the person that left the game earlier today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was. She said she may be. She yeah. may be ill because that often is what happens. You're drained of energy and just can't drive from the hack with the same power. And that's definitely not enough speed to get that kind of shot. Well, that's been four or five rocks in a row like that. Kim Kelly. We can bounce the other way too. Hard, hard, hard. Okay. USA trailing by one, have the hammer playing the eighth. And a must win for Patty Lank. Nice shot for Norway, gives them a 6 3 lead. Korea hanging in tough against Scotland and Germany with the hammer playing Sweden. The fifth player or alternate for the Russians is a 16 year old, Angela. To Vaeva. That's why Colleen didn't want to stay there and you can see what a great shot by the Russian skip. Very nice roll. They've actually had trouble in that spot earlier in the game, didn't get the rolls they wanted, but that time just right. Canada doesn't want to lose their chance for a big end, so Colleen needs the run back. Straight back. Exchange the stones. First of the skip stones for Colleen Jones in Canada. They do have the hammer. Trailing 5 4. Mary Anway and Kim Kelly trying to hold the line. Run it back and stick it. to oh, they run it by. They do jam at the back. Right behind the corner guard, eh? I pushed it into it. Yep, it is. As you pull out, have a look. Place. There's the other one. Oh, Colleen, I thought we oh, had it. Oh, look where it is. I thought it was perfect, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a head shaker for Colleen in their last four games. And again in this one. Halfway down, it looks perfect, and it just makes that curl, and she ticks it in behind the corner guard. They do jam on the back one, but Russia can now hit that on the nose and lie, too. Get right out of the end. Oh. 
and sit right there and they do lie too. What a huge turnaround. And she's only she was up till that point till this end only curling 56 percent to talk about timing when to make the right shot. Okay, three, two. Or even three. So Canada and Colleen Jones facing a couple here with her last one. Looking to tie it through seven. Easy. Time. They're saying 13. I think 13 to 13 and a half is still the range. Oh. You got it. So pretty close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Nice shot. Great shot, Colleen. One yellow. T line edge of the button for a single in an end that turned around on two shots by that young lady, Olga Yarkova. Russia has the hammer back in a 5 5 tie. It's a very important draw on this Tuesday night. Draw seven for the women. Let's check in on what's happening between the U.S. and Switzerland. Patty Lank, the U.S. champion from Madison, Wisconsin, comes in like Canada with a record of two and four. So in a must win for the American champs. And Lank in her third appearance makes the hit. That's one and there's that second point just biting the back edge. And so the U.S has the lead going to nine. Germans have come back. Ty trying to hand Sweden a loss, which would drop them to three losses. And that would be good news for the Canadians if Canada can win their game. Scotland is one of the leaders at five and one. Norway at five and one in control against Denmark. And five, five as we go to the eight. And Russia has the hammer. Is this the routine, Linda, that you're speaking of again? Or, I mean, there's nothing in the house she could again try to, to blank, but she's going right up and putting up the corner again. Yeah, I, and at this point of the game, I, I don't know what is right for them because uh, we've seen them be so aggressive continuously. I'm not sure she would change her pattern even in this stage, Vic. But you have to give her credit for making the big shots in this game. As I said, her numbers are low, but uh, great role last end and made the double the end before. Is this a stone that presents a particular problem? Because they just said, let her know this is your two stone. Is they have been swapping off the pairs, Vic. Both Nancy and Marianne felt they had one a little bit straighter stone. So I think they tried to get the two closest together they could, but one still may run straighter than the other. We are shy for sure. Lots of room. It's just top. Well, then well, it might be well, short. Well, it's short. Well, Short's okay, short. though, right? Yeah, no, I don't mind short. Okay. okay. Even with that guy, maybe? Good. There you go. That's good, Marianne. I'm just going to hit this on the nose and try and control that front area. Niana has that. Uh, very pronounced backward motion, gathering the power, and then the little step into the delivery. Very deliberate step in behind the stone. That's a good shot. I 
thing to watch here is watch her step back and then watch the foot. She drops the hips and then steps up and in. Very pronounced. Very square. Weight's good. Might need a little help. No, we're good. We got lots. Coming though. We got lots. Marianne got Way. Lots. Just sort of tear better, but four foot. Can't really sweep it though. Man, that walked, eh? Boy, does it ever. Nice Look shot. at that go all by itself. That's Lovely must shot. Have Oof. <laughs> must have picked something, is right. The Bare Naked Ladies host the 2002 Juno Awards from St. John's, Newfoundland. And it's on CTV. And I believe it's at. The new Mile One Stadium, the new home of the St. John's Maple Leafs. And in fact, when we were in Brandon, people from uh, Newfoundland are hoping that a Scott Turnout of Hearts will go to that new arena in the next couple of years. It's got a little piece of it, which was actually pretty important to get it off that four foot area. Yeah. Good luck, Kim. I know. Following that. Yeah. Yeah, that last one really must have caught something because we have not seen anything finish like that. It's a 50. Perfect. Here comes just a little deep, maybe. Nice shot. Yep. You know what I will say, Marianne, from throwing your rocks and splitting your rocks, I think they're a little heavier than my three and ones. Right. And even, right. they do. They do seem to glide. Player you comparisons know? are brought to you by Nokia. I talked about Kim being an important element on this Canadian team and that she had an edge over Kira, and it's not so big tonight. Kira bringing her numbers up. Well, the Rocks hit too deep, so it is a chance for Russia to get themselves out of a little jam here with a decent draw. Better. Okay, good. I'm going to sink her again. That was a little shorter, though. You know what? Even short. Yeah, I think tuck a piece, top yeah. 12. Yeah. Just a little less. That's a good break for Canada now. Rock into the top eight foot, top 12 foot. Not very much Perfect. weight, but it's got lots of line. A little more line. More line. Where is it? It's top. Top eight. Top eight. No, no line. No line. Line's real bad. <laughs> Can we come at all here? No, you're not coming at all. Whoa. Whoa. That just didn't curl, that one. Well, Canadian fans are peeking at this game, of course, as Norway looks to hand Denmark possibly a third loss and bring them back towards Canada. And this is the final stone for Lena Bitstrup. And she'll make the hit for one, and the second point is at the top. So two for Denmark, 6-5, Norway leading as they go to nine. Well, things are really seeming to fall apart for Russia. There's been three ends in a row now. We've had some big mistakes from the front three of Russia. That was another great chance to get out of trouble for Olga and her team. She was struggling earlier, has made some nice shots lately. That's Olga Yarkova, but Colleen's also pouring it on a little bit. Still struggling a bit with that draw weight. Made a nice one last end. This is one of those, Ray, though, if you can get this draw in the right spot, 
Similar position as two ends ago. Great pressure on your opposition. Well, Kara really hasn't made a shot in the last six shots or so. I mean, she was through, under through a number of shots. Those two, it looks like she maybe threw them a little too strong. I don't know or put them outside because it's a great opportunity for Canada now to really pick up a big end here. Well, they don't have the hammer, but nope. Slides by, doesn't touch. And Canada lying three without in a 5 5 tie. And the Ray, they we try to update people on the senior world championships, which are being run in conjunction with these Ford Worlds. And in men's play tonight, the Canadian senior men's team from Manitoba, skipped by Ron Westcott, replacing Carl German. Well, they were a 10 1 winner over Switzerland. So after six draws and four games, the Canadian team is three and one and tied with the U.S. also three and one. Well, this little skip, if she's going to make another shot, she better make it now. She's playing the Rays to punch her rock to the forefoot. First stone for the Russian skip. Cut the line or did it curl too much? Tap it back. She make the shot? No. And Canada continues to lie too. A little more brushing. Oh, they brushed that all the way. She had it absolutely perfect. Why they weren't brushing, I have no idea. The weight was just perfect. They didn't pick that up until about the hog line, though. They, they should have been brushing that all the way. Her shot on this side looks tougher than on this I side. I can't hear you, Kim. That, this one is going to be easier for this. This one is tougher than this one. They're saying this one's a oh, yeah. Like That looks like a, you know, tougher shot. Wouldn't you agree? And this one. We were just thinking about coming right in. Something with. I don't know what Updating all the scores for you. That she can make so many ways. Be wide. Be Norway has the hammer the there okay. and leading. Well, you know. Good result yeah. for yeah. Canadians. I don't mind the outturn guard because this one. That's the key though. Germany can beat right Sweden. Yeah. Canada can, can, can win their game. Be yeah. wide and get it. Be inside and hit and roll. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She can use it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She's playing a guard. She, she could play in off of this one. She could uh, hit it herself. She can see it all. Play it quietly. She could. She can also use it to come she, in off. She could come down on this one here. Just remove this one, drive this one back, and roll your shooter in a little bit into this area here. Well, you know, Marianne, I think she's decided to play yeah, a guard on it. Like, I think we have to decide which one she we're guarding. Over. I think we got to still give her that run back again. Because it would just be for one. Well, then, I hope. For one. Double. Run back double. She's talking about a <laughs> guard. Good. Nothing surprises me anymore. No, and it shouldn't. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm guarding the one she just rose, rose, risen, rise, one. raised. Well, they looked at uh, the so whole house and thought that yeah. this side was the easier way for the Russian skip to get in. However, if you did make the come around the other way to the top of the forefoot, she'd be having to angle raise or roll long, off of a rock facing come. not just one or two, but three. And it, yeah, you I'm not sure this it. is su yeah. such an easy spot oh, right oh, here. But could, oh, you could oh, also come in it. off of that you stone. Could. You're gonna just try to yeah. roll it tap, it, yeah. tap it back oh, yeah. six yeah. feet and roll to the top three. of the forefoot. Right till it stops, right till it stops. Nice shot, Colleen. Doesn't even look at playing that angle raise over, and she'll go to the draw. The little we scoot across is very tough. 
Is that little uh, raise of the red stone in the eight foot still there, or is this the shot? You, you could chip that one over. This is the shot, I think, Vic. Final stone facing a couple. Yes! Olga Yarkova, now she's rushed out to join Skultan and Nekrasova needs full four foot. Needs full four foot facing two. Stop in time, slide too far, stop in time, and it looks like it may have. I think it did. Do you agree? I thought it did. Just didn't need the brushing, that's all. They leave it, it may have curled a bit. More. One red. One red, says Nancy Delahunt and the Russians. And she continues to sparkle here. Olga. Yarkova. And they'll take the lead through eight. The 2002 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you in part by Husky and Mohawk, leaders in fuel, food, and convenience. By JVC, excite your senses and by Whirlpool Home Appliances, proudly supporting extraordinary Canadian women athletes and everyday champions across the country. Well, here's a game that could benefit the Canadians if Germany can beat Sweden in a 4-4 tie. The Swedish champions from Zweig. Margareta Sigurdsson is the skip, but it is this lady, Maria Engholm, who throws the fourth stone. Sweden is four and two, Germany one and five. That's Natalie yeah. Nessler and the team from Garmisch Partikirchen. Oh, it may be a little light now as everybody Sigurdsson has jumped out to join Jornlind and Lindholm and she will come up light. And that is a steal of two for Germany. 6-4, the Germans lead. Sweden will have the hammer in 10. Okay. Korea has picked up a single in nine. And so that's now a 4-3 Korean lead. Norway and Denmark. And we're just seeing the points go on the board here. One for the U.S. a steal of one in nine. And so it's a 7-5 lead, the Americans yeah. over Switzerland. Yeah. Okay. Right on it. Pretty much the same way, eh? Yeah, much the same way, Dan. Russia has the one-point lead, and their plan is to try and force Canada to take a single. So if you want to do that, what do you do in the ninth? You put up the tight guard, very nicely played by the Russian lead. The come-around attempt did not bury and went deep. So there was the hit by Russia. No, I, I don't, and a I, nice I, shot by I, Canada. Jana Nekrasova. Look at this shot. Almost a freeze. 
I know it's, it'll be a good shot though for Canada, or she could just uh, back, back, four, back, eight, come across a bit, roll side, over, right jam the yellow back on the back red one. Which is normal. Five. Yeah. You know what? When you look across the sheets right now, everything is this going is in favor rock? of the Canadians. The teams well, they need to curly, win or teams they need to lose to come back. <laughs> it's happening for the moment, but the Canadians now have to do their part. This has really been a strange game because it's the kind of game, Linda, that you, I mean, you're watching and you think that Canada should be up four or five, but it, they're just, uh, the uh, Russian skip has made the right shot at the right time. There's been a couple, a few mistakes by Canada. Having a little deep in one situation where they absolutely had a point back locked up. To, uh, half half line. Line. Especially the last three ends, we've Real. really felt that Canada's had a lot of their own stones in the it's house, and really Russia's hard. been scrambling, but they've made the right ones, the Russian team. Okay. Pretty it, nice curling. Yeah. Yeah, they look pretty casual about it. It turned out nicely. Eat you is what they're saying. Right up, we got a nose that we'll see. quite pick it, it up. Yeah. We're well, relying on you, Ray. It might just jam the red behind the corner center. Yeah. We've got to blast it. Yeah, if you can get a little roll out of the way. It will be and second shot. Goal, I mean, yeah. you know. Canada with the hammer in the ninth, down by one. Guys. Yeah, I like it. It's regular. Don't worry about this one. That's okay. Even nose is okay, I think. Nose is great, no, I think. It'll jam the. It'll jam it onto the other red one, but uh, the back yellow will go back onto the one on the eight foot. Regular. Close. Close. Well, coming up tonight on Sports Center, what a wonderful story this is. The return of Saku Koivu as he plays for the Canadians, looking to lock up a playoff spot. The Canucks still have a chance. Guess who's back and skating with Colorado, Peter Forsberg. A wrap up on the Ford Worlds, of course. And a preview you'll hear from Mike Weir at Augusta. It'll be a pheasant way to spend an hour and we'll have you jumping for joy. Sports Center coming up at 11 Eastern. That's pretty good, Vic. Thank Thank you. You. Very good. Very good indeed. We're never sure how you're oh, going to handle that. No, no. But it was very smooth. You're just not a man in a hat. No, God. <laughs> Linda still didn't like the hat. I'm not sure hats are you, Vic. No. Oh, it's higher. Ball. Come on down, you guys. Come on down. Baron, come look yeah, at Yeah, it's uh, crunch time for the Canadians. They have to uh, make their move here. They have the hammer down by one. Okay. I kind of think it's just a hit here yeah. onto this one. Real three thin. Qu just three quarters. What if I, no, but what if I even three hit it? Three quarters like a will quarter. jam. Hit a quarter. Well, that's still going to go there, though. Yeah, but I want to clip this yeah, right here. Three quarters okay. will just. So what if I right try to hit it that. skinny? Half. Half? Half, yeah. Because that, yeah, because if that hits half, half of that. Yeah. 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 So half a rock. Okay. Them, With regular, yeah. right? With regular. Okay. Yeah. Think half skinny enough? Yes, I do. It's no more than half. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Half. All right. Just regular, Kim. Yeah. Here are the standings going into the seventh draw of women's play, and as we say, it's 
Canada now having to do their part and just win and then they need some help because you've got all these five plus Switzerland at three and three ahead of the Canadians. So they just have to win. Canada must win from here on out. And then hope for some losses to bring teams back to put them into yep. contention. Yes. Yep. Hard. Kim hurry. Kelly. Hard, guys. Hard. 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 Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hard, hard, hard. 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 Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry quick. Okay. And Canada's line one. The important thing is that there are three yellow stones in the rings and the two red rocks are behind the T-line. Russia has to be very careful how they handle this. Kira Ezek, the Russian third. To lie shot stone. Just bump it back. I think you double those back ones and it will jam, but I think all I can do is bump it back with that. I think all I can do is bump it back. You need to throw a board? Board she's asking for. What does she have? Come on back down, you guys. Go ahead. There's lots of time on the time clock, so they're going to take a moment to have a better look at the angles. Um, here I am pointing the four foot white. I got right here. Is Mary Ann pointing the four foot white? But there's another no. red okay, rock good. right there where you're um, going back to. I've got this much. Okay. See, I kind of like if you throw board, yeah. catching a piece of that, that hopefully that just okay. comes to here. As long as I'll I move to keep it. Your shooter the over thing here, is, so. well, I have to make sure I come up to it. Right, so maybe hack, hack, just to make sure I get some bend. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hack. Well, you heard the comments. What they're going to do with the stone? She'd like to move the back red one too a little bit. Okay. So I'm thinking hack, just okay. so I can get some bending. Okay. Okay. We're trying to poke it that way, right? Yeah. So hack. Uh, I'll give you 22. Hack weight on this stone here. That's back line, isn't it? 21. Okay. Yep. Yes, hard. Hard, hard. Hard for line. Hard for line. Hurry on. Hurry. Woo! Hurry, hurry, hurry. Mary Ann Wayne, Nancy Delahunt. Push it back. And the Canadians are lying too, and there's backing. It's a great shot. <laughs> Scotland and Korea in a 4 4 tie as they play the 10th final stone for the Scottish skip. This is Jackie Lockhart out of Aberdeen. Korea from Seoul, Mi Yun Kim, first appearance at a world championship. The Scots five and one, Korea winless in their six games. And Scotland trying to stay tied for first place. Norway also five and one coming in. Will it stop in time? It sure does. She draws the back of the four for the win. Scotland five for the finals. So the Scots go to six and one. Korea is zero and seven. 
Можно попробовать в лоб пробить, либо провести... Через горло, что ли? Да. А провести там разве реально? Провести ближе нельзя. Ближе? Да, вот через гарда. Я бы через гарда пробила. Через гарда хочешь пробить? Вот в эту сторону, вот так вот? Или как? Ну, в лоб. В лоб и вот сюда. Хорошо. Как ты думаешь? Стороны. Ну да, нормально будет, по идее. Но они как бы хотя бы два, но от один куда-то. Между ну, ними ну, камень не в лоб, проходит. В лоб попадать. Да. Чуть пойди с этой стороны, наверное. To me like she's playing the run back, Linda. She could come down and just tap the stone back. Ray, we just want to tell everybody Norway has won 9-5 over Denmark. So that's a win to keep Norway in a first place tie with Scotland. They are both now six and one, but that also helps teams in the positions like Canada. Denmark suffers a third loss, so the Danes fall back one loss. Yarkova in her first, and the crash in front. So we see Norway and Scotland still tied. Russia, Sweden. They're at two losses and still on the ice. Denmark has fallen to three, which is good news for Switzerland, for Canada, for the U.S. But those teams like Canada and the U.S. now, they have to do their part. They have to win. What if we just tap this up that back. a little bit? Yeah. All the way back, don't you think we have to? Depends where your shooter goes. You sure as heck don't want to tap it back here and roll over here. No. no so no, I think no. you just want to just tap it just a bit. To well, take then this I think, double away. I think then she's got that double, Nancy. You know, I think I'd have to come all the way down okay, here. straight on the nose. Almost straight there and almost roll my shooter to there. And then she's going to... I see what you mean. Well, like hit this to here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she, um, what were we seeing this against double, that? This double right here, right through here. Just hit, you know, come on the no, inside. She wouldn't be able to get right that. There, she'd, there, hit, she'd hit, yeah, she'd hit this rock if there was this, another rock there. This and that would yeah. go, wouldn't it? No, this would just come back here. No, we'd be sitting one. No, this one would come back here. If there's a second rock here, this one would just hit this and come back here. Let's well, see, I don't like too much this, and then it's a nose hit, and this one goes, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know what, that's one, that one's going to be hard to get out. Yeah, I like that too, Marianne. You don't like this right here? Yeah. The only thing is, that if, you know, it leaves her this possibly, unless you leave your shooter in the exact right spot. Well, let's Otherwise, face it. My shooter's well, got to be in the exact right Well, this one, right. you've got a few options. You can be kind of okay. anywhere here. You like it? Yeah. Over curling. We want to be no, right, we're going there. right there. We're coming, we're coming here. Well, they talked. They talked first of all. Colin talked first of all about coming down on this one here. Just playing the bump on that one. And putting putting this one back in here. Then they talked about moving this one back. That's the one you guys agreed upon. Okay. And I think that's what they decided to do, Linda. Actually, I think they decided to try and draw to the face of the shot rock. The, sh the shot rock. We talked earlier in this end about a, the fact that the Russian stones were at the back of the forefoot was not good for Russia and better for Canada because of the potential jams. Now for Canada, they just don't want to leave Olga any doubles or good hits and rolls. Just the angles of these rocks, that's what is critical. Make sure you're here. Colleen Jones in her first. Line's good. Make sure you're here. Line's fine. Yep. Line's great. Make sure you're here. With all that backing, though, Linda, right isn't up, setting right up, up well for the Canadians? It is right now. Radiant, hurry, hurry, quick! Radiant, 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 radiant! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Radiant, guys! 
Great up, great up, great up, great up, great up, great up, great up. Good shot. That is a good shot. That block's the only way she can double them, I think. Huh? Yeah. That works, Colleen. There's a problem, of course, that does take away the double for sure. What uh, Olga should have done was the last rock was played to come around and not play the raise back. That was actually something that was changed at the hack. That's about the first time the front end of Tarquin was something that, in my opinion, there was not the right shot. Another final, and Patty Lank and the Americans stay alive as they win 7 6 over Switzerland. So the U.S. is now 3 and 4, Switzerland also 3 and 4. So everything is working out right now to Canada's. Canadians, though, have to win. I'm going to play the draw now that we talked about, trying to draw to the face or near the face of Shot Rock. Yeah, she should have played that draw last time she instead of the, the raise back because she had the long guard out in front and the angle was right to just to draw down into the pocket. But this is much, actually, Colleen got that rock in a pretty good spot. Final stone for Olga Yarkova. Canadians are lying too. Just a little short. My brother was. I guess you've got that bump, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Right. Just trying to hit it right into the crotch of it as far as close to the yeah. crotch as you can get it. Is that okay for back four weight? Well, isn't that about where I was now? Yeah, but you're throwing more weight, right? Okay. Still coming up. That is my hack ice. No, I had less than that to get to that guy. Just a little more weight, bump it up. Looks like a lot from here for me. less. It's about, you know, I don't have to throw that much more than what I just threw. Yeah, we pounded that one. So you have to throw, yeah, another 10 feet. No, not that Ten much. Feet. No, not that much. So we're just trying to bump up feet. the yellow yeah. one? Yeah, six feet. Bump Parallels up the one again. she put in the top of the yep. eight foot. For a possible third point, and wouldn't that be a big point? Canada trailing by one, six, five. Yep, yep. And out of her right. hand, Kelly and Mary Ann Way. Line's okay, wait only. Wall for line. Oh. You got a wall. You got a wall. Oh, we need weight. You, you can't Can we go. come to that top one? No, we can't. Oh, they talked about this being too much ice. Lovely weight. Well, I was a little shy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two yellow, yeah. It will be two yellow, two for Canada here in nine. It will give the Canadians the lead. Jones, Canada must win. But Russia will have the hammer coming home. Yeah, good, nice win, Colleen. The 2002 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Karcher, quality cleaning equipment. By Nokia, proud sponsor of the Nokia Briar. And by Ford, Ford of Canada supports the love of the sport and the drive to achieve.
The key shot brought to you by Husky and Mohawk, leaders in fuel, food, and convenience. Well, this is Colleen's first uh, first stone, but the stone before this where Make Russia sure really had a chance to maybe get out of the end by playing an sure intern draw line. and freezing to the yeah, face of the Canadian stone. Sure she elected a raise back. It didn't work. Right up, right so Colleen gets a chance. She's actually trying to tap this stone right back, Linda, to lie three, but it ends up in not a bad spot. It ends up in a position that really forces Russia to a tough shot, and that does mean when they can't execute, Colleen has the tap on that very stone to get the three, and I think it was just a little too much ice. I was a little shy. Uh, two yellow, yeah. So Canada gets their two. They have the lead, 7-6, as we go to 10, but it is Russia. <laughs> that has the hammer. And isn't this interesting? For the first time, we were just <laughs> the Canadians come in, and instead of running up and putting the corner as she's always done, she's hitting yep. and would seem to be yep. playing for the extra hit. Thank you, right? Vic, I mean, the whole game to get extra points with Last Rock, she's played corner guards. This is the perfect time to do Sorry, so. And she's okay. just exchanging yeah. stones, so it looks to me like Good. you're right. She's no, playing to try and get an extra end. Now, the first stone at the end did come into a nice position for Canada. Yes, it is in the forefoot, but it's behind the T-line. And what do they do? Russia hits it, and you can just see the exchange of stones and the rock creeping up into the button area. And so that's why and how we come to this point now with the Nine. Canadian stone T-line, edge of the forefoot, and this is the Nine. Russian second, Nine. Yana Nekrasov. It really is interesting because she seemed the whole game to understand how to score two. And, uh, you know, you don't want to take a quick peek at the scoreboard to know that to win this game, you need two. Marianne Way. It'd be interesting to see if she plays the corner guard now. Go on the freeze. Hmm. Well, that's one that's way of right. getting an extra point. Yeah. Better than hitting. You boys sit in here. A little better. Uh, I know it's difficult, but why? What's her thinking here, or can you even figure this out? why she didn't play the corner yeah. guard and why now i don't i maybe because in the second half of this game her team have not executed so and she was concerned about yes. leaving a rock in such a good position i'm just Leave guessing Vic, ah. first indication that we'd seen that yes. she was a little yes. afraid of just leaving that rock in play mm -hmm. ah. but if you're not going to play the corner this is the shot to play for sure is try and freeze to the face of it if you can oh, oh. 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 just a little too much sweeping again that was Good line. A reminder, of course, Sports Center is coming right up. Immediately following our coverage of this women's seventh draw in a must win for Canada. Firm. Yep. Firm. Yep. Firm to Whoa. peel. Whoa. Whoa, then. Just clean. Shot. Shot kill. Kira Ezek. Oh, oh, нет, 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 вообще ничего. Ничего нет, нет, не надо. Oh. And unable to hold the shooter. Updating the game between Sweden and Germany, 6-4 Germany. And that's a great draw. The German stone, top of the forefoot. And this is Maria Engholm trying the, the run back, trying to stick it for a possible three to win it for Sweden. And it'll be a steal of one for Germany. 
back. And the Germans will win it 7-4. So everything that the Canadians could possibly want to happen shot, in this Cam. draw has. The teams at two losses have come back. Now the Canadians must win. And they're getting the kind of end that, they, that they're that they pleased with this particular 10th end because it's just a wide open end. And even if Russia gets the single, at least Colleen gets into that extra end with last stone. Once you get it started, jumped it. School 10, Nekrasova. Trying to hold it down, don't lose it. And the shooter will spill out the back. That, that's just a weight thing again. I mean, she's just under-throwing everything. That, that stone had absolutely no weight on it. So here's what's happening. Russia still on the ice playing the Canadians. They could come back to three losses, which the Canadians are trying to do. Let Norway and Scotland go. Let them go, run away, hide. But we need teams to come back now. Denmark, Sweden, they've lost. Switzerland has won. Now you've got the bunch at four. Those teams still alive. Canada must win. The only game left on this Tuesday night here in Bismarck, Two. North Dakota. Yeah. Have you ever figured out, Victor, how many extra ends we may have had in the season of champions this year? We haven't had a lot of tiebreakers, so. though, Ray. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. So this we'll, could be know, the week. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so. And for Canada, it may well, be needed in this case. Guy. I can't think of extra ends, actually. I don't know. I don't Ooh, think right. we've done that many oh, this year. Oh, we've done lots of have extra we? ends. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. My cold's got full. So. Cold. My food's got cold every night. I've ordered ahead. <laughs> <laughs> now she's going to freeze to this. Too deep. That is Olga Andrianova. And she is the coach of this team and has been since 98. The Russians making their second appearance. Boy, that number really surprised me. 57%? Yeah, she really has been low, and it's been the few big shots that we keep remembering that she has made. Got a little excited on this one, and just a bit too strong. All right, so it'll slip to the back, and where do you go with your last one if you're Canada? Okay, top eight. <laughs> right on. Okay. But not that she can hit it, eh? No, exactly. If you're biting the four, no, you're fine. It. You want to keep that going. But full eight's good too, Colleen. Canada leading by one, seven, Let's six. Like trying that. to make it 19 straight, leading after nine. Middle of the eight foot. Just make her draw to so the you four want to go foot. Full eight, leave her the double, or she can draw to the four. Right? Yeah, I like that. Sounds good to me. Battling for their lives here in this world Just championship the in foot, Bismarck, the no Canadians, leading and must win. Full eight's Gliding. good, too. Gliding. It can't be more than Gliding. just a bite of the Whoa. four. Just a nibble of the four. Yep. Just yep. a nibble of the four. We're not there. Hurry, 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 hurry. Nibble the four. Nice That's and a great they'll shot. bite Good the shot. top of the eight. And now it'll be a piece of the four that Russia needs with their last one to force an extra. She made a very nice draw in the eighth end coming this direction. It was with the other turn. She needed to hit four foot and she did. The worst that could happen, of course, is that we go to an extra end in a 7-7 tie. Canada would have the hammer, but 
in position right now to possibly win it, leading by one. And the Russian skip, Yarkova needs the forefoot. Yes, we do. I'm hoping the fight needs the forefoot. Trailing by one, did she pull the string? She thinks so. Boy, she's just sprung out of there. Yarkova to join Neprausova and Skultan, and also Ezek. Forefoot. They need the forefoot. Trying to drag it for all it is. Forefoot. Oh boy, they held the line right on the pin. We're gonna go to an extra. So the Canadians will try to win it, stay alive in an extra. I guess, Linda, she may have turned it a little bit, and that's what they were trying to do, drag it by that Canadian stone by the top of the eight foot, and look at that terrific brushing. It right on yep. the Ford. And so we'll go one more in a seven, seven time. Are they selling a sport or sex? It's not a talk show. It's the ultimate debate. It's fight to the finish. I'm confident. The key shot is brought to you by Husky and Mohawk leaders in fuel, food, and convenience. Well, she We're has routinely raised, stepped into the hack, and been prepared to draw the four, and she did it again. And she played a very large role in this because she threw it and it was just out of her hand and she now became the sweeper and out comes the third and now we've got four people brushing this and they're all four of them and none of them are in front of the stone. Oh yes, they are. No, but a little bit of inexperience because what if you're not looking up, what if the speed is wrong, but also the line, it turned out it needed the brushing, nice shot. To tie it 7-7 seven, seven as we go to the extra and Canada will have the hammer. That was what you well, call the truly a team effort. <laughs> it was. And I'm pretty sure she's got a, a good mind of what to do this in, and that's get up some front stones. Cross the face uh, pick, tick, we call it. Just half, back line oh. even, yep. Yep. Close. Yep. Three. Three. Good shot, Nance. Good shot, Nance. Very nice. Nice shot. The Sports Center is coming right up. As soon as we're done on this extra end here in Bismarck, North Dakota. Nice tick by Nancy. Anastasia Skultan. Canada started well, two wins on Saturday. The opening day, they've lost four since then, trying to keep themselves alive. And then they play the U.S. in a very big game. The loser there, of course, will be eliminated. The Americans have done their part. They've won their game, so they stay at four losses. And the Canadians trying to do the same here. She has the choice, I think. That's confusing. So shooter back, comes off, way. everything goes back. Yeah. Everything has to go back. That one <laughs> in the stone rings, you couldn't leave it there. It's not your choice. It has to go back. Was it that close to the ring? All goes back. Checking with the umpire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Можно ближний, если вдруг что. 
Those guards are in a nice spot for Russia. Yana will try and make the come around. Yana Russia with a couple of guards out in front. Tour there, Marianne. Got. Oh, tool. Straight peel, Marianne. Quite a consistent performance for Colleen and the team in this particular game. But at the same time, not what you would yep. have expected Cut. or for a team Hurry. at this level. Not what we've seen Hurry, from Hurry, Hurry. Well, not what we've Fair. seen in the past, Vic. And it, a couple of shots. Great shot. Very nice yeah. there on the double peel. A couple of shots in particular would have made this game a lot easier. But I'm glad they got the back ones gone. But Marianne has struggled a little bit this week, so pretty good game for her and a very nice shot right there. <laughs> and yes, it is surprising to look at those numbers for Olga because she has made huge shots in the second half of this game. A double, a roll, a draw against two twice. Want to try plate. that again or just this one? I, Whatever you like. I'm just thinking the forefoot opens big, eh? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, you, you can't. You, you got to really You got to hit the tight one. Absolutely. Entirely. Be nice to get all run the one back and get them both and do all that kind of stuff. But if you don't, you're in big trouble. Yep. Hard. Marianne Way. Three. Clean. 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 Good shot. Good shot. So with all the other games final, this is what we know. That Norway and Scotland remain tied for first place. Russia will either go to five and two or fall back into the group at four and three. And see now, if you're Denmark and Sweden, you're pulling for Canada. Because you want the Russians to fall back. As do Switzerland and the United States. And Canada simply must win to stay at three and four. Oh, they man. never cheer yeah, for Canada. Uh, oh, please, well, they yeah. are tonight. Under their breath, they may be. I think so, Vic, that they would rather have Canada out. Yeah, absolutely. And there's still I don't think they're cheering for Canada. No, there's still options for those teams that are playing against Russia. Sweden and Denmark both play Russia. And so I think because of the, the talent of this Canadian team, they are the defending champions. People don't like to see them hanging on for a potential tiebreaker berth. Kim Kelly. Yep. Yep. Three. Right out. Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> right over. Good shot, Kim. Good, Kim. Coming up on Wednesday, the men will play a couple of games. Randy Furby trying to bounce back after a loss to the U.S. today. He'll play Denmark and Finland, while Colleen Jones will get, go against the U.S. And again, against the U.S., the question is, will it be a game that means something to stay alive, or will she be trying to play spoiler? Oh, oh. Although they'll just use it to come around. No, but it roll. Yeah. Roll one way or the other. Yeah. Do you want to try to roll on? Sure. Make sure we roll, though. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to nose hit it. Do you want the intern instead, Kim? Um, 
Yeah, I think so. Roll far so that I can... The purpose so of rolling regular? on. Yes, right. Regular yeah. calling. Listen yeah. to them. I know what you we mean. We want to roll right behind. Yeah, you know behind what? the you red. Yeah. You just threw. With that we're ice? Over we're over curling, eh? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. okay. No. Yeah. As Kim gets ready to throw this Just intern wait, hit, sorry. the purpose yeah, of rolling on yeah, I did. is okay, there. if they can get a biter, then if they had to near the end of the particular end that we're playing, the extra end, they could pick out a rock and roll the shooter out and still have the little biter left as the winning Stick point. And it'll sit right there. The Danish team, Lena Bitstrup, still in attendance. They lost earlier today or tonight, 9 5 to Norway. And so Denmark is at 4 and 3. Russian. I think trying to roll anywhere, I mean, it would have been nice if you rolled it on. I think trying to roll anywhere was a mistake. That was a straight peel shot. You have to peel it, get it off of there. You got the whole half of the ice. You just can't afford to, I mean, they actually tried to come across the face of the stone and roll it in behind the guards. And in my opinion, that's a mistake. You had to roll away. It's a peel shot. Now, the only thing for Canada, it's been a little tougher in this one spot to find the place to get the come around. But she has had draw weight, that's for sure, in the last few and shots. Here she comes again, doing it all. Yarkova. This looks a little light, does it not? Or? It does. Oh, yeah, normal, normal. Okay. I guess top four if it's coming good. Swedes are also hanging around to see how this will play out. A Russian loss would bring them back to four and three, tied with both Sweden and Denmark. Twenty-three-one, eh? The only thing you cannot be is deep. Yeah, that's for sure. Colleen Jones and her Mine's first. Great. She does Where? have the hammer in this uh, extra deep. of a seven-seven tie. Not deep. Quite. Oh, and they haven't put a brush to it. This is all on its own. Don't leave it back of the, just back of the tee. Oh, it's no, not back okay. of the tee. Wow. Attack. Where does that come from? And I was that heavy all along. Was a hack? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Two thing I know for sure that well, the, like the TSN crew, all of us, and the families for sure are cheering for Canada. That's all we know. Well, you know what? I, I, I think those teams like Denmark and Sweden would like to see Russia lose this and come back and join them no. because if because if the Russians because if the Russians pull away that lessens the number of chances they have for possible tiebreakers I think they want them back to give them more of an opportunity nope we we do not agree Vic nope you can talk all you want final stone for the Russians here and this is their skip Olga Yarkova trying to take advantage now of that Throw through by Colleen Jones. She put that out quite a bit in the big spin on it. It's not going to want to curl very much with that kind of release. It's going to be a wide open hit for the victory. Colleen Jones will think about it on the way down to the hack end. She has a chance here to win it in the extra. Hit and stick to keep herself alive. Clean over. 
only. Yep. Whoa. Clean only. Whoa. Final Straight stone, on. Colleen oh. Jones in this extra. It's got to yeah, hit and girl. stick. I think it's going to stay, Kim. Don't roll it out. Don't roll it out. <laughs> and it'll hang on the edge. Oh, my, for that little bit. Canada will win it here in the extra and stay alive. I do feel like that little koala bear now. Thank you. Thank you. so appropriate. This was oh so close. Just hangs on. So the Canadians win it yeah, eight to seven. I was ready to play and they go to basketball. three and four. The Russians come back four to three in Canada. Still alive. They will play the Americans in another must win tomorrow afternoon. Till then, this has been a presentation of TSN Canada's sports leader. television.